Okay, so the floor plan, this goes back to the measurements. Mm -hmm. And you like doing the measurements. I love it. It's the piece of the business I've held on to and love doing. Um, I was out measuring houses today. Um, but it really is not only is it so important to get the square footage verified, that, that number is the source of so much litigation and headaches for people if it's wrong. But it really shows you totally. the, the true flow of the house where the, the photos, people can mess with that. They can put them in and out of order. You could have, you would, you might not know where the master is based on the photos, but the floor plan is how it is. And you can see you go in the door here, you got a cramped foyer here, or you've got a gig gigantic two-story foyer. Um, you have a family room that flows into a screen porch. These are all things you can see if you hire someone to do a detailed floor plan and you just can't really get that detail always with your photos. We try to do that, but you can't always. And sellers sell with their heads. If they're smart, they use a stager, but buyers buy with their hearts. And if you have somebody looking at this floor plan who is already emotionally invested, they're putting their furniture in this house and they need to know if it fits. Yeah, and side the note, I would add to, to that. Say, what? Go. I was just going to say there, there's a new trend in floor plans where someone just does a scan with the phone. Um, and I there are several reasons I think that that's a problem. But one of the things it does is it captures the furniture as it is. And it's just like having family pictures up on the wall in a house. It kind of, it can close someone's mind off to how the house can be. If you give them a floor plan that says the bed has to go here or the bed is here, they're going to think, oh, the bed has to go here. Um, so I, I really don't like that style of floor plan that already has their personal furniture in place. Also, no. um, these scans, the technology is eventually going to get there, but right now they're just not accurate for producing square footage. They are, um, they have disclaimers all over them that say, you know, these are approximate, these are not to be used for square footage, but all over the triangle, Realtors that you and I know are using them for their square footage and really putting their license at risk. And they need to be having these houses actually measured. I think it's important. Excellent point. Um, yeah. Also, that's what you have the staging for. My job is to define the space, to show the buyer yeah. what the potential, what they can do with the space. Can we put a desk in here? Can we fit a king size bed in here? Stuff like that. But don't, you're right, without seeing the actual furnishings, and where they have like the bed with the two pillows and they're saying that that has to be up against the wall. Totally agree. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this episode, please like, comment, or subscribe. If you don't like it, then f off.